I believe he was everybody's first choice, and I got the pick of the litter. <laughs> we got the pick of the litter. The Scott Frost era has officially begun. Good evening, and thank you for joining us, Nicole Cousins, alongside sports anchor Ryan Hillman. Ryan, what a day for the University of Nebraska. What a perfect day for Nebraska. Scott Frost spoke for the first time as Nebraska's head football coach. Channel 8 Sports Director Brett Edwards has a recap in tonight's top story. Nebraska welcomed home one of its own today as Scott Frost was officially introduced as the Huskers' next head football coach here at Memorial Stadium in front of a large contingency of media, current and former players. Bill Moose says Scott Frost is the pick of the litter when it comes to all the candidates in college football right now for coaching jobs. And Frost said he was focused on coaching Central Florida through the regular season, but the timing was just right to come back home. I'm coming home, I'm coming home, tell the world I'm coming home. When it came down to it, this is home, and I can't think of anything more rewarding in my career uh, than turning this place around, and, and that's our goal and our aim. I didn't need to know a lot about this program. Um, I'm from here, I get it. I, I know what it's all about, I know what it could be, I know what the potential is. I don't have a worry because I know we are going to do things the right way. We're going to do things uh, in a way that the people of Nebraska are going to be proud of. We are not going to win every game that I coach here. And we're going to, we're going to lose a few. And we, we might make some mistakes. But I know that the people are going to be able to get behind what we're doing here because we're going to do everything the right way. We're going to do everything uh, with the right moral compass and we're going to do everything in a way that's going to make Nebraska proud. There's been, a, a, in my opinion, a lack of unity of purpose about this place for a while. And if I can bring that back, that'll be really rewarding. We all know that he has a passion for Nebraska. And we know that uh, he's a very, very good football coach. But he's got great integrity. He's got great morals. Um, he cares about his players. I mean, you've heard him talking here, um, and he just can't get back to the fact that he, he, he genuinely cares about the players. Tell the world I'm coming. It's unclear if Scott Frost will coach Central Florida in its bowl game. When asked about that today, Frost said he needs to consult with Central Florida Athletic Director Danny White about that in the next couple of days. Everything's so fresh. Frost says he hasn't slept a whole lot in the last 24 hours or so, and rightfully so after coming off a conference championship win yesterday. When Frost was asked if he needs to modify his offense for the Big Ten, Frost simply said, hopefully the Big Ten will have to modify for us. Reporting from Memorial Stadium, Brett Edwards, Channel 8 Eyewitness News Sports. Thanks, Brett. Let's take a look at Frost's career so far. He spent the last two seasons at UCF going 6-7 and seven his first season before pulling off one of the biggest turnarounds in college football history, going 12-0 and 0 this season. Before that, he had several smaller coaching jobs, most notably serving as Chip Kelly's offensive coordinator at Oregon. And of course, a lot of big name Husker players and coaches were on hand for the news conference today. That's exactly right, Ryan. We spoke one on one with Husker legend Tom Osborne to get his thoughts on having Scott back. Coach, did, did you foresee this day happening with Scott coming home? Well, I was hopeful that it would happen. Uh, naturally, when you have a coach here, uh, you don't want to be talking about that. But when, uh, when the thing played itself out, and it became obvious that a change was going to happen, then I felt that Scott was the obvious choice, uh, hands down. And, uh, and the big thing is that um, he's been here, he's, uh, he's kind of lived the, the culture, and uh, for a period of 42 years, we had more success than any other program. And there were some reasons for that happening. And I think un unless you've been here, uh, done that, lived it, uh, it's hard to explain to people, and uh, so he knows that, and uh, and that's important. And it isn't it isn't about X's and O's, and it isn't about specific uh, whether it's a three-four or a four-three defense. Uh, it's more about creating a culture, and that's the most most important thing that a coach does. And I think you'll see that that's going to be right, and it's going to be done well, and it may take some time. And that's the thing that people have to understand is that. This isn't a quick and easy deal, and uh, 
So uh, I think the administration is committed to him for the long term, and that's a good thing, and I hope the fans will do the same. Yeah. You, you know all about pressure. You're a Nebraska guy. You coached at Nebraska, and here's Scott Frost in the same situation. Will there be maybe a little bit longer of a leash for S Scott Frost? Well, that's what I told him. I said, you know, I think you're going to have two or three years longer uh, because people here really, really want you to be here, and uh, you're not a stranger. So I think that'll be helpful. And so, but, but uh, I'm very confident that over the long haul, he will wear well. He'll say the right thing. He'll do the right thing, and he'll he'll treat those players right. He'll care about those players. And, uh, and it'll work out uh, very well. Including Tom Osborne, there's also former Husker wide receiver Matt Davison that was there. And athletic director Bill Moose said he was instrumental in securing Frost for the job. We're, we're, we're buddies, but at the same time, I was, um, I was re respectful of his time and what he had to put into his team. And, and so I wasn't going to bother so, him. You know, we just had a casual conversation and and it got comfortable quick because because you had great people in the room. I mean, look at Bill Moose. Mm -hmm. Couldn't have picked a better man to lead this program right now. And you couldn't have picked a better coach at this time. So this is, you know, them getting along was never gonna be a problem. Former players took to Twitter to share their thoughts on Frost today. Heisman winner Eric Crouch tweeting, what a great day, welcome home coach. And former quarterback Taylor Martinez chiming in saying he's excited to see what the Husker offense will look like with Frost as the head coach. And one of the biggest Husker fans, Larry the Cable Guy, sharing his excitement too. And fake Bo Pelini wondering how Nebraska got snubbed from the college football playoff today. We'll have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> the team was called in for a meeting with Coach Frost this morning. We caught up with Husker quarterback Tanner Lee to get his new take on the coach. You know, I just heard different stories about him from being a quarterback here, so not much. Um, you know, I followed that American Conference uh, pretty closely, so I was able to, you know, see a lot of games. Uh, so, I mean, uh, just no more than anyone else. Good, good man to talk to, someone that's been in my shoes, so I'll be really appreciative of that and uh, definitely be able to use him in, uh, you know, in many different ways. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure exactly, uh, you know, we haven't got into to all that yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, I definitely know one of my uh, one of the things I got to work on is being more mobile and running around, and um, so I'll just continue to work on that and, and, and any other part of my game. So um, just like the, the entire team will. So I think we're just excited to get back to work.